Imagine predicting the future and being spot on. That's exactly what venture capitalist Kai-Fu Lee did years before. OpenAI's ChatGPT wowed the world. Lee, known for his sharp insights, saw the disruptive potential of AI in the labor market long before many others. Despite some people ignoring his predictions, more and more of what he foresaw is becoming true. So jobs that are relatively routine, quantitative in nature, in a single domain, that is somewhat repetitive will increasingly become replaced by AI. In some cases, the entire industry may be transformed and it's done with no human involvement. All of this will contribute over the next 15 years, leading to something like a 50% job or job task replacement. Back in 2017, Kai-Fu Lee predicted that AI would surpass all of humanity's previous technological revolutions, including electricity and the internet. He boldly stated that AI is far more capable than people. Lee told CNBC at the time, predicting this massive shift within 10 years. He said, these are things that are superhuman, and we think this will be in every industry, will probably replace 50% of human jobs, create a huge amount of wealth for mankind, and wipe out poverty. Fast forward seven years to the Fortune Innovation Forum in Hong Kong this past March, when Lee sat down with Fortune Editor-in-Chief Alison Chantel. With the timeline of his prediction just three years away, she asked him if it still holds, and he replied, Job displacement, I think we all know this is coming. Um, you had said around 2017, you thought in 10 to 15 years, about 40 to 50% of all jobs would be replaced by AI. Yeah. Is that still an accurate timeline, in your opinion? Um, what the heck is everyone going to do when they don't have a job in three years, if so? It's actually uncannily accurate. <laughs> People have criticized me for being too aggressive in the 2017, 18, 19. And I was a little nervous at the time. But when Gen AI came, came out, I think everybody's on the bandwagon and believing that is the a correct pace. Um, and I think the white jo collar jobs will go a lot faster blue collar job may be a little slower because more people are shifting to the software only displacement. And, and I think it's a very, very significant problem. And I think finally some governments are waking up and realize they have to do something about this. And in my AI 2041, I outlined a number of um, creative, maybe not necessarily workable solutions that, will, that was intended to get people thinking. So get a copy of the book. Lee believes that AI will likely eliminate white-collar jobs faster than blue-collar jobs, describing it as a very significant problem that some countries have started realizing needs to be addressed. When asked what parents should tell their kids about their future careers, he said the first thing people should do is stop this nonsense about kids using ChatGPT to cheat. The chatbot, which can produce answers in natural language to queries on a range of topics, is another tool. Just just like Microsoft Word or Adobe Photoshop, he argued. First thing we all have to do and influence all the people around us is to stop this nonsense about kids are using ChatGPT to cheat. Right? This is not cheating any more than using Word or Photoshop. The kids, when they go into the workplace, are going to be measured based on the final output of their work. They're not going to be measured on what well, did you use ChatGPT, did you use Google Search. So I think we need to encourage people to harness AI and use all the tools so that they can be the best that they can be. When kids grow up, enter the workforce, and are evaluated on their performance, bosses will look at the end result of their work and not whether they use ChatGPT or Google Search, Lee continued. Watch the video on your I button where we have discussed the 15 jobs that AI cannot replace in the next five years. Now, let me introduce you to another top expert, Avital Balwit. She's not just anyone. She is the chief of staff to Dario Amode, the CEO of Anthropic. Balwit believes that with each iteration, frontier AI companies are creating increasingly capable systems. She writes, I work at a frontier AI company. With every iteration of our model, I am confronted with something more capable and general than before. Balwit argues that the real comparison isn't about beating the best humans, but about replacing the average worker. The economically and politically relevant comparison on most tasks is not whether the language model is better than the best human, it is whether they are better than the human who would otherwise do that task.
She predicts that AI advancements will continue across all cognitive tasks and raise important questions about the future. Should we meet the possibility of its loss with sadness, fear, joy, or hope? The overall economic effects of artificial general intelligence AGI, are difficult to forecast, and here I will focus on the question of how people will feel without work, whether they will or can be happy. So, what do you think? How will we handle the potential loss of employment as AI continues to advance? Share your views and don't forget to watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.